where school is back in session after the teachers union reached a tentative deal with the district early this morning. It includes raises, a working group on diversity and prep time for teachers. Nick Giovanni spoke with the superintendent of Brookline Public Schools who was there for the marathon negotiating session. Are you able to get into what, what it took to, to reach a deal in terms of the, the sticking points and what, what ended up actually coming together? Well, interestingly enough, the the financial proposal that the committee had uh, put out was very similar to what was uh, previously um, sh uh, shared uh, in that regard. So once the union accepted uh, that offer, um, they then we were able to get into some of the other uh, proposals that they brought. But I also want the community uh, as to understand is that the, the school committee took its um, its language proposals for the contract off the table and focus primarily on the finances. And um, uh, it's very important for uh, the committee to um, engage in contracts that are fiscally responsible. And so in other words, what can we actually afford to do um, right now based on our allocation? So, um, but uh, the, the groups went back and forth with the language and we got some great language uh, certainly for um, our diversity and retention efforts, um, as well as um, other language requests that the union wanted to um, discuss. Do you feel like at the end of the day, these are substantive changes when you're talking about the, the equity and um, just some of the, the other initiatives outside of the fiscal requests that were being talked about back and forth? Well, I certainly believe the the question around um, engaging in deep conversation about what does it mean to diversify the workforce, and in this case, it's uh, the unit members that the BEU represents. Uh, certainly, um, the school committee has um, asserted its uh, support of diversity initiatives and um, has done so in the form of even forming a diversity, equity, and inclusion justice subcommittee. Uh, of the school committee. So as a district, um, this is certainly a district initiative and the union wanted to codify some things in their contract so that they can also uh, be contributors to that work. But there are a number of initiatives that are pres that we presently have underway in the system. And uh, this is another um, activity that will complement that work. How did you go about navigating just the last 48 hours of it between the strike and then the the quick turn of the the 4 a.m deal signing and then oh by the way school starts on time <laughs> well interestingly enough the session last night was regularly scheduled it was one that was uh, previously on the on the books i believe um so with the, with the mediator or this may have been well i've I'm lost i've lost track of time now <laughs> um <laughs> But in, we started, so we started negotiating yes, um, yesterday, Monday at 4.30, um, and the session concluded. Uh, the deal was uh, agreed to around a little after 4 this morning, um, and then the signatures happened uh, just before 5 a.m. Um, so I think, again, it was back and forth around what, what we can do. It's, uh, it's a lot of parsing words back and forth those types of things, but really narrowing. So it starts wide and it really just over the course of time just chunks down to what both parties can uh, actually agree and live with. Any uh, any issues or uh, just hiccups logistically this morning, getting all the schools back uh, in action there a day later? No, um, I think uh, interestingly enough, we've been very communicative with our community, uh, letting them know uh, timelines by which we would communicate with them. And so we honored the timeline that we set that we would inform uh, our community by six this morning where the school was a go or no go. And so we met that. Uh, we were able to honor that uh, commitment, certainly outside of my office. I'm hearing lots of happy children uh, in school. It was great to see so many students and families coming in this morning. What are the challenges, though, when it comes to getting things up and running on that quick of a turn? Well, the system itself is ready to ready to go. It's it's not. Uh, this was sort of an atypical, very much so an atypical shutdown, um, but it was it wasn't a, the equivalent of a snowstorm or something like that, where we're waiting or working with another department to clear roads and clear parking lots and those types of things. Uh, so this one was basic, essentially school normally starting as it as it would. So Monday's um, Monday's closure. 
uh, certainly uh, was a disappointment uh, to all in that regard. Many families, uh, their summer schedules and plans already locked in place because, you know, we've had a few closures this year because of weather um, and returning after the winter recess. So um, uh, now we have to get uh, to the business of uh, state testing, getting back to that, um, uh, communicating out a new set of schedules uh, because that day shifted by one. So all of those logistical things we'll be working through. The proposed contract would run from 2020 to 2026.